Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Shop Talk. I'm Chris Reeves, and today uh, we're just kind of just doing this video to, sorry, uh, answer some questions, a lot of common questions you get about uh, uh, what buffer, spring weights, um, things like that to uh, use in the uh, back end of their AR. And uh, so that's mainly for customers who buy our uppers, um, who uh, buy an individual barrel, doing their own builds, things like that. So. Uh, they might, uh, uh, our barrel, our gas port size is a little bit different from other barrels on the market. So uh, sometimes um, uh, certain buffers or heavy springs that other that work in some guns won't work in ours. So uh, this video is just like a, um, more of a, just some quick information uh, on the, the types of springs and buffers we use. And when we build out a complete gun such as this, uh, what springs and weights we use. So uh, to dive into it right now, there's uh, typically four types of springs we use. Our buffer springs are from uh, Springco or Tactical Spring Company down in Spring, Texas. And it's more of a high-end spring, uh, very high quality uh, in the sense they uh, last a very long time. The compression rates, they're chrome, moly, silicon, uh, cryogenically treated springs. And uh, so I have four laid out right here. And uh, our, one of the springs we use, we, and they're color coded. So we Typically, when people call, we say we, we identify the spring by color. So we'll say green spring, blue spring, red spring, or white. This is uh, typically what we, uh, it's a green spring right here. Notice the green at the end. And this is a spring for uh, more of your A2 receiver extension, as far as like um, your standard rifle receiver extension, uh, like on a, um, you know, like an M16 type uh, buttstock or uh, the full length rifle. So uh, also, too, the spring is, we also use the spring in the, uh, a5 system or the Voltor A5 system. And next is our red spring. This is kind of a, uh, it's a carbine spring, but more on the heavier side. Um, typically 10.5s, uh, we will use these in. Uh, just depends uh, if you're using a suppressed gun and you're running suppressed, we highly recommend using the spring. It uh, obviously has more coils, higher pressure, and uh, to uh, slow the uh, BCG down. This is the universal one we use for almost all builds. Uh, if you're using the standard mil spec receiver extension, is the blue spring. It's got a, a good amount of tension, and uh, we use it in combination of H1 buffer, as you can see right here. So, uh, but yeah, this is this setup right here is typically what we put in the majority of our firearms with the uh, mil spec buffer system. So, uh, anywhere from we can even use in 10.5s, 11.5s. Uh, 13 nines, 14 fives, 16 inch uh, guns too, all with the uh, M4 receiver extension or the six position uh, receiver extension. But this is just a good universal uh, combination right here, H1 blue spring. Uh, we use it for a lot. Now you can get a little bit more technical. If you're running suppressed, you can run a heavier buffer, uh, other things like that. But uh, this is what we use the most. And this is the um, white spring. So it's the, uh, kind of equivalent to your basic carbine spring, just a lot more reliability or, or longevity into the spring. So uh, we typically don't use maybe for 300 blackouts uh, sometimes, but uh, for the most part, uh, we don't use these too much. But they're out there. So um, now your typical receiver extensions, when I say mil spec receiver extension or M4 or uh, or six position is right here, your carbine receiver extension, your six position, and then you have uh, extended receiver extensions, more commonly known as A5. Voltor makes their own tube. There are other manufacturers on the market like BCM uh, or uh, V7. They make their own uh, receiver extension that's compatible with the A5. Uh, and what that is, is we have a buffer here. It's the uh, buffer's uh, slightly longer and can carry more weight into it or more uh, tungsten than uh, steel weights uh, such as here. You can see the standard, see the length between the two. So more weight, slowing the BCG down. And uh, you can see the extensions slightly longer. So not too much, but just enough to give it some room. Also too, uh, it's the same length as your standard uh, AR-10 six position tube. That's out on the market too, you can see. They're roughly the same length and they'll work just fine. Uh, so getting back into one of our most popular barrel lengths right now, 39. 39th mid length gas uh, on the um, six position mil spec side, blue, 
H1 is what, what we put in our gun standard. Now, if you're running the Vultor, we use our receiver extension to be the green spring and H1. The Voltor A5 H1 buffer is primarily what we use the major majority of when we use the A5 system. We kind of have all our gas ports uh, tuned for that and then all our gas ports tuned for these two. And it's that simple. Um, like I said, when you want to get into fine tuning it and if you're running suppressed, you can up your buffer weight, you can up your spring weight. And um, if you want to get a little bit lighter, uh, you know, as far as competition, tune on the gas or use uh, certain types of ammo, then you can lighten up your buffer. It's all up to you, honestly. You're gonna go out to the range um, and just experiment. See what you like, see what you what works best for your rifle. Uh, typically with the mid-length system guns, as far as like mid-length 14.5, 13.9, um, we will, um, or even 12.5, we'll even, we'll typically run the, uh, or we prefer the uh, A5 system. Shorter guns like 10.5s, A5 will run fine on them. Uh, mil spec receiver extensions with the uh, blue springs or the red springs will run fine. It's, I say go out there and uh, see what works for you, to be honest with you. Uh, different, uh, obviously different ammunition between two, three, five, five, six, suppressed, unsuppressed. Uh, some suppressors have more backers than others. It's, it's all, uh, it's basically gonna come down to user preference, but there are spring and buffer weight combinations that will just be universal, will run all the time. It's just when you get into that whole aspect of fine tuning the rifle, this is when you're gonna have, you have to go out and play yourself and uh, figure out what works for you. But generally on odd products, um, for uh, almost all barrel lengths, for, do this one more time, for all barrel lengths with the carbine or six position, mil spec receiver extension will be a blue spring and uh, H buffer. And, for Voltor A5 systems or other systems or buffer or receiver extensions that are similar length will be the green spring and Voltor H5, H1. So, but uh, that's just a quick rundown. I mean, nothing to it really. It's just stuff that we've done over the years and what we figured out works best for ours in relation to our gas port sizes and uh, when we manufacture rifles. So, one thing that uh, we'll discuss too, let me remove this rifle here. Law folder. So, law folder, if some of you guys aren't familiar with it, great product. It's an uh, extension, goes, uh, put your uh, receiver extension onto here, attach to the lower. It allows you to store the rifle into smaller bags or more uh, smaller spaces, things like that. So, it's a great product, but um, there's some, some small things that it will do uh, to the weapon. Obviously, the how you take down the weapon is a little bit different. And there's a little added extension from your the back end of your uh, bolt carrier, slides right in, and uh, contacts with the buffer. So it bridges that gap. Uh, but it add, does add a little weight. Now, the majority of the time, it's not something that's gonna be completely noticeable. But uh, when you get into the aspect of fine tuning, it's gonna make a difference. So, um, so keep that in mind, is kind of like to give us like an extra added buffer weight in that sense, or steel weight. Uh, but uh, keep that in mind when you want to do your fine tuning, things like that, or if you have any cycling issues and you typically didn't, but you put on lawful or now you're having cycling issues, you could, there's something you could do is like reduce the buffer weight, things like that to compensate for it. But generally we don't have too much issues, but when we want to get into fine tuning it, that's, uh, keep that in mind right there. It's extra weight, but that's it. So uh, thanks for watching, quick video. Um, I got a get into that whiskey that I just left on the table and uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching.